In this video, we're going to add a shapefile to our project and extract the graphics or the entities out as well-known text. Well-known text is very powerful. I've recently used well-known text to transfer graphics from Oracle to MySQL, for example, with a simple SQL call. That's how powerful well-known text is. So let's do that. The first thing we're going to do is go to our exercise files under geometry handling, data, and drag and drop city limit into a new project. Let's do that now. And pick the first coordinate system, UTM, zone 10. There it is. You should see in the bottom right-hand corner, EPSG, 269110, that's great. And this is the city limits. So if we pick on it, it's a single polygon. You'll see that the PC name is Nanaimo. It's a poly polygon or a multi polygon because it has a hole inside of it. There's a place where there's no polygon in the middle of the city limits. So I'll just close the identify results. Next, let's open up the Python code. So hit browse for open script. And the script we're gonna open is called get geometry WKTPY. Let's open that up in the bottom. So we should have that inside of our console at the bottom of the screen. The very first thing we're going to do is create a variable called layer. And we're going to get the instance of the current project and grab the map layer by name, in this case, city limit. Now, again, the trick is with the square bracket in the zero, that allows me to get the first city limit that it comes across in the layer list. There's only one, so that's fine. But sometimes your project may have multiple city limits. We're just saying grab the first one, zero. That's the first one. So once we have the layer, we're going to grab all the features on this layer. So get the layer, get all the features, and use a QGS feature request. So basically, we're just going to say, give me all the graphics on this layer. Now, in this case, we're lucky it's only one graphic. It's one big multi-polygon. That's it, just one single record. But we're going to loop over all the features. So this is a loop for looping over the graphics in the list of features. So for every feature we highlight, we have a variable called f. So you'll see there's four f in features and then a colon. And then everything beneath that is indented. That means it'll loop over each of those things. So now that we have F, we're going to say the geometry is the feature's geometry property. That's why it says geometry bracket bracket. And the name will be the attribute called PC name. So you can see right away, we've got two ways of getting at the data inside this particular layer. We have the geometry itself. That's the geom, and then a particular attribute, one of the columns in the shapefile, and this one is called the PC name. So now I've got two columns, a geometry and the PC name at my disposal. So I'm just gonna print it out to the console. I'm gonna print the name of what we selected, probably just Nanaimo, we saw that. I'm gonna put the area of the geometry, so it'll calculate the area. It'll calculate the length of the perimeter. It's going to show well-known text. So what I'm saying is show the geometry with a little function called as WKT. That's a function that'll show it as a polygon or a multi-polygon in a big long text file. Finally, I'm going to use a little function called centroid. So it'll actually get the geographic center of that. And it will also spit that out as a well-known text. Well, let's run this and see how this works. So if I hit run script, I'm going to scroll up just to see where we started, all the way past all those red numbers. The first thing it did is print the name, which is Nanaimo. Yes, that's what the PC name is as one of the properties. The area in square meters is there right down to the micrometer, so we need to round that eventually, but there we are. And we have the perimeter as well, and these also in meters. And then we can see that this is a multi-polygon. That's the type it is. That's what the well-known text is showing. And it shows the X, and the Y, and a comma, X, and a Y, and a comma, and so on. It continues through for the first polygon. And as we scroll down, it's quite complicated because it's a multi-polygon. It's made up of a hole as well, as you saw before. And I keep going all the way through, scroll down, and you can see there's just a lot of coordinates that make up this multi-polygon. Now, at the very end, you'll see the second item, 
which is actually a centroid. Now, all centroids are usually points. So a point is simple. It's got an X and a Y, and that's all there is. That's the point. So that's the centroid. That is the X and Y in the 26 9, 10 coordinate system. This is all in UTM meters. It's probably about right in the middle of that polygon. So now you can see we have well-known text of the centroid, all this data from well-known text of the polygon, and we also have the perimeter and the area of the geometry, as well as we extracted one of the columns inside of the shapefile out to the screen. Now you can see even with a single feature, we have a lot of data we can extract. So using Python, you can get the well-known text, not only of the geometry, but also of the centroid.